So do you want your Samsung device to look and feel as smooth as this? If you do then you have clicked on the right video and in this video we will cover everything how you can get this kind of smoothness even on your older Samsung device like uh, this this is not a very new recent uh, Android device this is actually Samsung Galaxy A52 which is uh, running uh, which is like a three generation year old device so in this video we will cover everything how you can make your device feel like it's brand new just came out of the box so yeah let's get started with the video now let's start with the basic if you have any uh, apps that you don't really use like uh, linkedin or anything like that it shows snapchat whatsapp messenger any app please uninstall that app because uh, that app is consuming storage as well as memory and running in the background so yeah uh, uninstall uh, multiple of those apps and uh, if you don't really know which app you use which app you don't use just uh, head over to this uh, zipped files here you will see all of the apps that you haven't touched in like uh, 30 days or more so yeah just uh, hit uninstall for those apps now additionally you also want to delete unwanted files that are there on your phone so yeah uh, head over to your gallery application or your files application and head over to the recycle bin and uh, remove all of the unwanted files these are basically so whenever you uh, delete a file in a samsung device it doesn't directly delete uh, it goes into this kind of recycle bin so uh, it, it works both with files app and the gallery app and it still consumes the memory and storage even after being deleted so yeah make sure you clear this uh, once in a while although it automatically clears itself after 30 days now there is one thing that uh, you might want to look into now head over to the settings in your uh, samsung device and uh, go into this uh, device care option and here you want to hit optimize now now what it will do is uh, close all the battery using apps uh, or any crashes or any background apps that are running in uh, your device and uh, it will basically make your device feel smoother and faster but they these are just the basic things that even a non-techie person will know so yeah there's that and uh, further into the video we will head into technical settings where uh, we will uh, mess with the system partitions and stuff uh, don't worry it is perfectly safe uh, i will uh, guide you how to do it in a safe and secure manner so your data remains safe now one more thing is uh, you might want to uh, remove any themes or good lock modules that you are running because those uh, take system resources obviously and if your device is not powerful enough to run uh, those modules simultaneously with other apps then you will feel the lags and jitters so yeah you might want to remove any themes or good lock modules that you are using now in this part of the video we will see the technical uh, stuff that you can do to improve your device's performance and uh, you can uh, reduce the lags or jitters that are happening in your device so what you want to do is uh, head over to your notification panel and just power off your device now for this you will need a laptop or uh, you also you or you can also use like type c earphones to simulate a connection between this phone and a laptop so yeah you basically don't really need a laptop you just need to simulate a developer mode kind of stuff you don't really need to even turn on the laptop just insert the cable into the device like this now what you want to do is uh, hold down power button 
and volume up button together until a boot logo appears now you will see something like this and what you want to do is head over and select the uh, wipe cache partition do not select wipe data or factory reset because this will completely wipe your device all of the data on your device will uh, be reset all the data photos videos everything will be gone so yeah don't really mess with this thing just head over to the wipe cache partition and what you want to do is basically you can use the volume keys to navigate up and down it is uh, very simple and what you want to do is now wipe the cache partition so to confirm the selection you have to press this power key like you can see here this is the power key and i will select the wipe cache partition and now select yes as you can see uh, this is my main device like this is uh, my primary device and i am doing on this device for live demonstration so you can uh, see that this is perfectly safe if you do it right then no amount of data will be lost so yeah there's that now you can uh, safely reboot the system and that's basically it uh, and yeah as you can see this is like incredibly smooth now this is actually much better than even what it was before when i started recording this video so this is basically the point where you can stop but if uh, even this does not help you then there is only one option uh, other than the factory reset obviously i will not suggest you factory reset because everyone knows that yeah so uh, i will not suggest you factory reset instead what you can do is head over to the settings then uh, go into the general management and then what you can do is go into the reset setting and reset all settings now this is pretty uh, different from factory reset this will not uh, clear your data like uh, the data on your phone photos videos this will not clear any of that but it will reset everything else like you can see here this will reset all of the settings on your phone except security settings language settings account personal data and settings for the downloaded apps so yeah uh, all the all the apps that you have installed like whatsapp or uh, instagram facebook any of those will not be reset uh, just the settings uh, of your device will be reset and after that your device will feel incredibly smooth uh, you can definitely uh, go ahead and do this uh, on the regular basis like every two to three months because uh, it, it doesn't really affect anything else to be honest just some of your like wallpaper and stuff for example uh, i set this wallpaper as my call screen background this wallpaper doesn't really show up on my call screen so yeah that's uh, basically it the, the, those are the small uh, like what should i even say small problems that might that you might face well that's pretty much it for this video uh, if this video helped you uh, even a tiny bit then give it a like and uh, if you love this video or if your device is now smooth just like mine then subscribe to my channel and uh, i'll see you in the next one bye bye now